<laughs> boom! Yay! Big slink! Hey! Boom! <laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome back to some more World of Warcraft. Doing a new zone, and for this this time around, we're making a new character. We haven't done that in very a very long time. Last time, I think was. I think it was the human character, Kefina, the warlock. So now we're doing... We're creating a Forsaken, an undead character. Uh, I, decide, I decided to name him Roemn. <laughs> Just a name I came up with. And I made him look like this. And he is going to be a priest. And then you might say, but you already have a priest. Uh, like the gnome, Linera. Uh, yes, I know. But the thing is, I'm sorta running out of uh, classes to play. And out of the original nine classes, the only... Uh, the only ones I haven't played yet is Druid and Warrior. And Forsaken cannot be Druid, so we cannot pick that. And Warrior I'm saving for another uh, race. Uh, but I thought to myself, well... A priest can be either a healer, like a holy or discipline priest, or they can be a damage-dealing shadow priest, and they are quite different. So I felt like, well, one of them is gonna be one thing, and the other one's gonna be the other thing eventually. So I figured we can have two different priests. There, we're gonna have to because there are more races than there are classes. Uh, so we are gonna have to have some doubles, and then I'm gonna try to pick the classes uh, where you have the most differences between specs. And Priest is one of those, like, the two healing specs are... Well, I haven't played Priest very much, but thematically they're similar, whereas Shadow Priest is very different. So we'll see which one we make Shadow and which one we make... Because we haven't chosen on the Linera yet, because we've only used her for the Gnome starting zone and then some cooking and fishing in Ironforge so far. But yeah, we're creating a new character to do the zone, Tirisfall Glades, which is the Forsaken starting zone. And I'm quite excited about this because I've actually not quested in Tirisfall Glades since before Cataclysm. So I haven't done these quests, most of them. I guess some of them will still be the same. Uh, but a lot of them will be new to me because I have two Forsaken characters on my account and both of them... I created and leveled past Tirisfall Glades before Cataclysm. And since then I just haven't done it, done those zones. I've done everything on Alliance because my main is Alliance, but I haven't done everything on the Horde side. So this is gonna be interesting. Alright. I also noticed this is the first character I have created, uh, like new level 1 character I've created since Exiles Reach was into the game. Oh. Though Lady Sylvanas hmm? and her Forsaken finally took vengeance upon their hated enemy, the Lich King, their dark crusade in Northrend proved costly. Betrayed by Grand Apothecary Putris at the Battle of Wrathgate, the Forsaken's devious plague of death was unleashed upon both the Alliance and the Horde to calamitous effect. Unbeknownst to Sylvanas, Putris and his demonic ally, Veramathris, had taken control of the Undercity. As a result, the Forsaken were wrongly blamed for the traitors' atrocities. Though the Undercity was eventually retaken, Sylvanas and her followers still bear the weight of Putra's sins. Mistrusted by the other members of the Horde, the Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tirisfall Glades and readied her undead forces for any contingency. As one of the Forsaken, you must use your cunning and viciousness to slay any who would pose a threat to Sylvanas's rule, be they human, undead, or otherwise. All right, uh, let me just fix my layout. All right, that's that's a bit better. Um, I've got tons of stuff to say. So first off, the guy who does the voiceovers when you make a new character like that, he actually died a while back. That's a bit sad. It's a very 
very memorable voice. And we got a lot of story content there because, well, that is the story that happens from Cataclysm and forward. It's like, because it described the events that happened in Northrend, which we may reach at some point and do those quests and those stories then. But basically, uh, when you create a new Forsaken character, you used to start inside this crypt over here. Um, a lot of new players, actually. I wouldn't expect to see this many new players. Or new characters, rather. Here, Shadow Grave. When you created a new Forsaken character back in the day, you used to start in down here. Uh, oh, Death Guard Hansel. Hello. And Death Guard Baltius. Yeah, you started in here. This is where your character woke up. And then you walked outside and you would get your first quest from a guy standing like right outside the crypt here. Like here. But things have changed. And now you have these Valkyr. Aradne. Arthura. Agatha. Are these the ones... I can actually check that... No! Adventure guide is not available yet. I need to have a higher level to even check my adventure guide. God damn it. That, that's kind of dumb. Um, are these the ones that are bosses in Shadowlands? Specifically these, these Valkyr. Um, so... <laughs> we are not part of the first generation of Forsaken, this character. The first generation of Forsaken were the ones that were killed by Arthas and... Uh, and his minions, and then raced from... Uh, raced into undeath. And then, later on, he lost control over them, and they got free. That were the first generation of Forsaken. I believe any characters created now is like a new generation of Forsaken that are being raised by the Valkyries. Um, so, so there is a difference. Uh, oh, yeah, they want... Yeah. It's so weird, because the map, way back in the day, the map used to be a full screen thing. I don't remember which expansion, but they decided like, no, the map will be a smaller thing that you can look at like, while running. Like, I, and now they've added in like, all these new map icons with this latest uh, patch. And then you get this like, quest log on the side here. But I always prefer to have the map full size, but then you don't get those bonus things. Um... Uh, Ugh, got so much to say here. Yeah, so we are a sort of a second generation of Forsaken. Um, so we used to be a human. These characters used to be humans. They were killed and then raised up. So this used to be the Kingdom of Lordaeron. Which, well, this is Tearsfall Glades, this area. We're all the way up here. We've been sort of close. Last time we played well, we were in Arathi Highlands, which is over here. So now we're over here in Tearsfall Glades. Uh, and the Kingdom of Lordaeron, I believe it spanned Tearsfall Glades, uh, the western, the eastern Plaguelands, and like the northern part of Silver Pine Forest, I think. I think that used to be Lordaeron. Uh, <coughs> one of the seven human kingdoms. Not, uh, not all of them are left. Well... Actually, Lordaeron is the one that's really the only gone one that's completely gone. Well, no, actually, Lordaeron and Altrak. Altrak is wiped out. It's gone. Uh, but the other ones still stand. But Lordaeron used to be the strongest one, but not anymore. And before we get going here for real, the name Tearsfall Glades, for many years I didn't know what it meant. But I've learned since that it's a... A corruption of uh, something. It's like how you know how names of places change over time. So here in these in this area is a place where the Titan Keeper Tyr died. So Tyr's fall, Tyr's fall. It, it it slowly morphed into that. So that's why it's called that. All right, now let's... <laughs> Ten minutes in, we can make Rome finally start his journey. Oh! Rowan! Rise, Rowan! Welcome back to the realm of the living. 
with the blessing and power of the Dark Lady, I have freed you from death's grip. You are no slave, Ruam. You are free to follow whatever path you choose from here. If you choose to serve the Dark Lady Sylvanas, I recommend you speak with Undertaker Mordo. You will find him behind me in the graveyard. Report to Undertaker Mordo at the Death Knell Graves in Tirisfall Glades. Yeah, this starting area that you have as Forsaken is called Death Knell. I don't, I'm not sure what a knell is. Like, is it like a hill? Or like... I, I'm not sure. <laughs> so the reason, like... The, the, the Valkyries didn't use to serve Sylvanas or like the, the Forsaken at all. They, they were part of the Lich King's armies, but after his defeat, they sort of went with like, Yeah, we'll join Sylvanas. Uh, for reasons. Hello, Undertaker Mordo. Speak quickly. Hello there. You must be... Roem. Watch your back. I'm pleased to see that you're up and walking around, Roem. You've held up nicely, especially after being dead for so long. Others weren't as lucky. If you wouldn't mind... I need you to fetch my embalming fluid and some twine to stitch up these bodies. You'll find both in the Shadow Grave, the building just behind me. Here, Darnell will join you. He knows the way. Obtain the thick embalming fluid and the corpse stitching twine from the Shadow Grave in Death Knell. And Darnell said, Greetings, Rowan. Trust no one. <laughs> oh, rise and recruit. Let's see. I just saw a corpse with a jaw that would fit you. This, is he missing his jaw? He's not missing his jaw, but maybe he needs a new one. That should do the job. Come back right away if it falls off again. Th thank you, Undertaker. <laughs> yeah, so there are... You can actually... Yeah, I decided to make my character slack-jawed. So it's like a little loose. But there are also, you can pick, like, have no jaw at all, and then you just see a tongue hanging out. It's kind of creepy. But how would those characters speak at all? <laughs> so we were supposed to go back in here anyway. Oh, some... Uh, some corpse stitching twine. Thick enough to reattach limbs. Possibly heads. And some embalming fluid. Smells strong of alcohol and e ether. Oh yeah, these uh, uh, the, uh, these old uh, abomination heads. We've seen abom abominations before. There was one in Southern Barrens, which we did last year, almost a year ago. That we helped create, actually. We haven't encountered that many Forsaken, so this will be sort of new in more ways than one. Because we've only have spoken and like quested with a f handful of Forsaken. Uh, over in the over in Kalimdor when we played those characters so this is the first time we do a horde character in the eastern eastern kingdoms you will find the items within the shadow grave i believe i left them on my work table Farewell. exactly what i needed you'll be an asset to the forsaken ruem you know Word has it that you were quite a priest in your previous life. Perhaps I should assign you to a more exciting task. Beware the Valkyr raise hundreds of corpses every day. Agatha raised you just a few moments ago. Not all are as lucky as you, however. Some maintain their free will, but live in constant fear and confusion. They usually run, run off into the woods, cowering at their own reflections. Others lose their minds completely, shambling about aimlessly. They often turn to violence and must be destroyed. This is your task, Rowan. Destroy them, our former breth brothers and sisters. Though, uh, uh, Destroy them, our former brothers and sisters, though they might be. Kill six mindless zombies. Victory for Sylvanas. And more people just keep walking up to him. Oh, no, ew. I don't like nameplates. 
they have so many like default settings whenever you create a character that I don't like. Things they've added over the years that I, since I've played from basically the beginning, uh, 2000, beginning of uh, early 2006, I started. Um, I just tend to like things as they were. Oh, and these abilities will move over here. We only have smite now. Smite! I smite thee! Which should be very effective here. And also, a forsaken use and using the light. That's quite a big deal. Oh yeah, they have updated the zombies. I think Shadowlands would have been when they did that. Urgh. Zombies aren't used very much in the game. Oh, and level 2, and we got Shadowward Pain. Uh, we already had that on Linear. I'm not going to read out <laughs> new abilities that we already know of. Whoop. Well, we completed one quest and killed two zombies to level up. And... You too! <laughs> and yes, I have tons of heirlooms. I'm not using that for leveling. I don't find it fun. Oh, one more. And you have been the lucky chosen one. Oh, what? Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that. How do I get rid of that? Uh, combat. No. No, I don't want that. Because now, kill rat. Yeah, no stupid things show up. Good. There's also this guy, caretaker case. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. I'm gonna say it's case. Also, that Darnell guy, why did he have to come with us down in the grave and pick up the stuff? That didn't make sense to me. What is it? King, peasant, or priest. I don't care what you were before. I just need somebody with a working tongue. Being raised from the dead is strangeous. Not everyone copes with it as well as you did. In particular, there are three newly raised undead who are having trouble coping right now. I want you to find them and talk to them. It might be that they just need someone that they can relate with. You'll find them here in the graveyard. Speak with Marshal Redpath, Lillian Voss, and Valdred Mori. Oh, is this where Lillian Voss comes... Oh, I didn't I didn't know that. For me, she just randomly appeared. Uh I think in Farewell. first time I saw her, I think it might have been in the newly new like new version of School of Monster or something like that. I didn't know she was from like the Forsaken starting zone. She's a very important character these days. I also recognize the names of the other two a little bit. But I can't really place them. Marshal Redpath. What now? Stand back, monster. You want to fight? Because I'll fight you. I'll fight any one of you creatures. Do you hear me? I am not here to fight. I've only been asked to speak with you. Oh, really? Fine. I don't want to join you and your Forsaken. Maybe I'll start my own Forsaken. Maybe I'll invent Forsaken with elbows. You're free to do whatever you like. Who are you calling a monster? You're the monster. I'm just a man who died. Marshal Redpath. I do recognize that name. Was he like a human you killed before the Cataclysm? Somewhere near here or something in a quest? I somewhat... And here we have Lillian Voss. Well, she's very, very important these days. My Hello. Stay sharp. Yep, she's voice acted. They added that. Get away from me, you abomination! I'm not an abomination. I'm simply undead. I just want to speak with you. The undead are a taint upon Azeroth! Every one of you creatures deserve to be destroyed. Lillian, do you realize that you are undead yourself? There is much to be done. Yep. No, you're lying. My father will protect me. Bye. Well, we all know how that's gonna go. He won't, or he'll be dead, or something. Well, this has been a long episode with very little progress because I had so much many things to say. I probably have more things to say that I've forgotten about. But we'll get to it.
if I remember it. I, I I guess we'll see. Yeah. But I'm going to end this first episode of Tears Fall Glades here. Which is... Is this episode 300? Hold on. Nope. It's 299. So I'm about to record episode 300. Hello. Hello there, sir. Well, I am going to end this episode here. Oh, questions. We're doing questions now. Oh. So... Um, something... Uh, Something... Uh, oh, I remembered one of the things I was gonna say. We'll take that next episode. Um, something... Uh, well, if you were... This only really applies if you played World of Warcraft, but... Uh, did Have you done... Uh, Terrace Fall Glades? Have, have you ever quested here before Cataclysm? And... Uh, well, actually you can still do that if you're playing Classic. Then, well, not classic, because they re just released Cataclysm in classic, but I think there are still, like, classic classic servers? I'm unsure, I don't play that. Uh, whatever. H have you played through Tears Fall Glades before the Cataclysm change? Let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Boom. 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 Boom.